Ryan, there's a mission going on right now where we have to fly up to an asteroid that's headed towards Earth and use military-grade explosives to separate it in the Earth's atmosphere. But before we go on to this death-defying adventure, I just want to say, eat shit and die, Brian. Eat shit and die. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the 151st episode of Good, Bad, or Bad, Bad Show. We watch terrible movies, tell you if you should, too. I'm your host, Mr. Brian Chiligo, joined once again, and as always, by the other host, Mr. Kyle Hitton. Kyle, coming off of episode 150... The infamous Gidevin. <laughs> Champagne and bullets. Oh, you're on fire when I grab you by the hand. Your way steals moving with the rhythm of the band. Uh, uh, we got to keep the train moving, though. Uh, with another well-known this good, one, bad movie. This one has been asked a couple of times. Yes, it has. Uh, I, had, I had never seen it, but uh, I, I, spoilers, this movie... Is, is good. good. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is incredibly competent. Uh, this movie is way too competent, but also ridiculous enough to talk yes. about, <laughs> I think. Um, yes. But yes, uh, this movie's pretty good, uh, and we'll get into it. But um, yeah, Robo Jocks, Robot Jocks, right? Ro yeah, Robot Jocks. A battle rages between two gigantic fighting machines piloted by their nation's champions, the Robot Jocks. Robo, I, I keep wanting uh, to say Robo Jocks. Which is just fighting. Ro it's Pacific Rim kind right? of without the kaiju. I have actually not seen Pacific Rim, but I was like, isn't this basically just the yes. premise of yes. <laughs> Pacific Rim? Because I remember like even like the way they move the robot seems kind of similar mm. from what I've seen of like the trailer of Pacific Rim and stuff where they're like move their bodies <laughs> to move the robots yeah, it, like, or whatever. Mimics them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in this one, they're just doing it to fight and hash out global disputes because <laughs> the, my first note, <laughs> war is outlawed. War is now outlawed and all territorial disputes between the two great alliances are settled by single combat. What? Which is one of the okay. stupidest. I, I love that. I, I it's, it's incredible because how are you going to enforce that, Brian? Right? I, I, it's like, wait, <laughs> war is outlawed. Well, I disagree. What are you going to do about it? Fight you? I don't know, like, yeah, like, yeah. what? I don't, Circular. <laughs> it's like, wait, how does this work? Yeah, I thought the exact same thing. Because that's like the first line of the voiceover at the beginning that explains... Um, what's going on in Robot Jocks, which is, yes, wars outlawed because there was, a, like, a nuclear war yeah. that destroyed the world. Um, the remnants of society that are left are like, no more war. Instead, we will solve all disputes. With Rock'em Sock'em robots. With gigantic <laughs> Rock'em Sock'em robots. <laughs> which, honestly, of all the dystopias, this is one of the it's, better it's ones. Pretty, <laughs> it's, pretty, it's also pretty freaking cool. That's what I mean. Because like yeah. they, they can bet on the the robots fighting too yeah. and stuff. Yeah. As dystopias go, this one's pretty sick. <laughs> like it's pretty gnarly. Uh, there is the what is it? The Federation in the Federation, which is like a stand-in for like the USSR. It's, it's like, like a Russian confederacy or whatever. They call it the Federation. Federation of okay. something. And then what what is uh, what is uh, Achilles? I don't remember. Well, it's of? the U.S., but it's got a different name. Yeah. It's called like the alliance or it's not that mm. but it's something like they like have slightly different names but it's very clearly the u.s and the ussr because it's the 80s yeah <laughs> the very late 80s it's 89 mm. um but immediately i was as soon as we get jump in the first thing we see is just awesome miniatures and i was yes. on board from it's, moment one the miniature work in this is incredible it's delightful i don't even know if it's great but it's so fun and especially in comparison this is one of those things where even terrible... This movie is not well-reviewed. It was not well-reviewed when it came out. I believe no. it was a bomb. I didn't look that up, but I believe <laughs> it made, like, I, I no money. I can definitely money. see it as cold classic status right yes, now. Yes, but the thing that's wild is that even at a time when, you know, when a, when a bad movie from this time period doing something like this is still incredibly competent and, and there's so much artistry on display mm. compared to like a similar idea today, which would just be like pre pre render, you know, they would buy like pre rendered motion assets. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. the, if you were making this oh, movie yeah. today, yeah. it would be what, like, it, yeah, you would it, do it in... What makes this, what would make this, you couldn't do something like this today. And the reason you couldn't do something like this today is because they go through the process of building the sets. Oh, yeah. Th there's so much atmosphere set up in this that you wouldn't get with a modern day movie. Yes. There's so much going on 
There's so there's so much front end. The budget for this was apparently only it was around like ten million dollars, which is not a ton even then. But it's still it's more than a lot of the budget the budget of a lot of the movies yeah. we do on this show because their budget is like fifty thousand dollars or whatever. Um, but you can tell they used all of that money because it is. I mean, like the the miniatures and stuff, like I said, are incredibly impressive, mm -hmm. especially like immediately you're just like, wow, this is like full blown gigantic, amazing miniatures. I'm trying to see. Oh, so it was a huge bomb. Budget was 10 million. Oh, it no. made 1.3 million. Ooh. So not great. Eh. Um, it didn't tank the company though. Cause they made a, they made a spiritual sequel. To did it. they to that in 1993? It's called robot wars. Lost battle for supremacy. Captain Wally has commandeered the robots. <laughs> In the ultimate killing machine. Oh shit! I have to watch that. But it's, now. it's, I need a, to know it's what the same people, same producers. Uh, they have wa a giant fighting robot in that too. Same any same characters? Or no, 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 no oh, same okay. characters. But right. the the same guy who did who wrote this and did the story and everything. Yeah, for it, uh, was the well the guy who guy. wrote this is the guy who did like Reanimator and mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember his name now. Uh, where'd it go? Um, Stuart Gordon. Yeah, Stuart Gordon who did uh, Reanimator. Um, from Beyond, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Thinking of somebody whose last name is Brand. Is there somebody whose last name is Brand in there? Charles Band. Band. He's a That's producer. It. That's it. So he he went on to do Robot Wars. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. So it, and it very much has the exact same atmosphere to it. I don't see Robot Wars in his. Oh no, that's as director. So mm. he would have been as a producer, I guess. Yeah. Anyways, um, but yeah. But the, the point being is it. It, you know, it, it bombed back in the day, but right now it, it's it's a cult classic film. Yes, but. and rightfully so, because mm -hmm. again, this movie is just great. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> the ending we'll get to, but a, most of this movie is just like a pretty good movie. Mm -hmm. I'll see you in hell for this. Uh uh. I'll see you in hell. <laughs> We open up, like I said, on these awesome miniatures, and we get up. We're in the middle of a robot fight, and somebody's loses. I don't even remember his name. Uh, Hercules, maybe is something. I think something it might like be Hercules. They, they, all, they all have Greek mythology yeah. names. Yeah, uh, and we'll get to the other ones, but but they're and and he's fighting uh, Alexander, who's I can't remember what his. It might just be Alexander. Ah! Won't wake your mind. I kill you dead. <laughs> I think he has a name too, like a, like some that. sort of code name or whatever. Um, but the, uh, our, our Hercules has lost. He's down on the ground and he and crawls. The, the, <laughs> yeah, the pilot's back is broken. Alexander, I can't move. I think my back's broken. Like he says, I think my back think is my broken. I think my back's broken. He's like trying to crawl out of the cockpit of this giant robot. Mercy, <laughs> mercy. If he dies. <laughs> He dies. Yes. The the big evil Russian robot guy just stomps <laughs> on him and smashes him. And I love that there is seemingly zero repercussion mm -hmm. for murdering this guy well, in the ring. It is like it is in place of war, and in war you can kind of, you know. Sure, but they say in this, they're like, you've won. It's over. Leave oh, the ring yeah. or whatever. And then he's like, nah, fuck that. Yeah, crush. Was, Alexander. Hold your position. Which is even weirder because later on he refuses and yeah. then he gets penalized. Yeah, I, I just what I'm saying. It's like, wait, so are you because he's allowed to keep fighting like he continues mm -hmm. to fight after he murders this guy who he's already <laughs> defeated in the ring. It's wild. Um but yeah, he murders this guy, uh, and everybody's very upset about it. Um, like, oh no! And then we're introduced to all of our uh, the American team of robot jocks, yeah. which is m and now just one guy, yeah, uh, basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Achilles. Achilles is the only one left. He's the only one um, left. They have all these trainees, though. Yes, that are test tube babies. They call them, yeah. They're like genetically engineered babies that have been uh, created by this <laughs> this woman who looks like <laughs> Christopher Walken. <Yeah. laughs> Uh, she is like a, a, a Look, scientist. Tex, I want to say that these humans have been genetically modified in such a way to, to, to be the greatest pilots of all time. Very good. Very good. Very good. Um, but yeah, they've genetically modified all these pilots or, you know, engineered all these pilots um, to be like the perfect pilots. And they're kind of up and coming, but none of them are actually pilots yeah. yet. Um, so Achilles is the last one left. And he has uh, where, uh, he's the main guy. And I can't even remember his actual name now. Jim. Jim. Yeah. yeah. Um, but and he has like a guy he works with who's like his buddy who's mm -hmm. 
Tex? Tex. Did they call him Tex? Who, by yeah. the way, is the best character in this whole movie. He's, he's <laughs> ridiculous. He's just this giant guy with a giant 10-gallon cowboy hat who's he's just... Got the greatest Tex, Texas accent. Yeah. he's Tex. If you uh, mean feed and die for him, I'm afraid we don't have time. Big fight coming up, in case you didn't hear. Yes, he's just, I was like, and that was, I was like, who the fuck is this guy? As soon as he came on screen, he's like, hot dog! And like, it's like, what is going on? I was like, I love in this weird dystopian future, Texas survived. <laughs> it's like, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Uh. And you don't want to mess with the Texas Confederate Air Force. So don't mess with Texas. Uh, but so the U.S. team is getting destroyed by the Federation. Mm -hmm. They've been losing all their pilots, they're, and they're losing nine all these... nine uh, consecutive wins, is what Alex yes. Alexander has on. Them. Yes, and I they're don't... losing ground. Like they're yeah. basically like losing. Like I don't know what states. territory that was for. <laughs> yeah, but the, the one that's the one that's up for grabs right now is Alaska. Yeah, the next battle coming up uh, is going to be for Alaska, which <laughs> makes say. sense because you know past this past whatever point this war was, it hasn't had a chance for. Uh, Steam and Cigar to secure the oil fields there and protect them. Yes. So, because this is 1989. No. True. What does it take to change the essence of a man? <laughs> you know what I would have paid a bunch of money to see? Steven Seagal do, as a robot jock. <laughs> It's just Steven Seagal in the like suit, like kind of God. pudgy Steven Seagal, just like, and it's his robot just like flipping people like awkwardly, <laughs> <laughs> just like flipping the other robot. <laughs> like the robot walks up to him and he just like pushes it over, <laughs> does like his terrible Steven Seagal martial arts. Um, but so yeah, we're introduced uh, to, to Achilles, who's kind of just an asshole, mm -hmm. <laughs> especially oh, yeah. at the beginning. Yes. He's just an asshole. He, he gets better at his arc over the course of the film. Um, which is ridiculous because you think like losing all of your teammates would bring some humility to you. No, not at all. He's just a big hotshot jerk. He uh, thinks he's way too cool for school. It's a wonder any of them live to make it this far. Don't let them get to you. <laughs> um, but he's about ready to go battle. He's got it. He's getting ready for his next battle against uh, Alexander. And I love they cut to like a news interview with Alexander. This guy is great. The it's guy so playing good. him is so good. He's got this line where he's like, Achilles. I've already killed you right here. <laughs> That's so good. So good. Achilles! I have already killed you right here. I, I gotta say, it, it, he looks shockingly to me like Gene Hackman. Just... 20 I will years. let you, the audience. <laughs> yes, I please, say Kyle will let you, the, the audience, judge. <laughs> be the judge. I did Does not, this look like Gene Hackman? I or did not? not get this at all, but I take your word for it because uh, I honestly have not thought about Gene Hackman in a very long time, so I don't, I don't know. You just shot an unarmed man. Well, he should have armed himself. Um, we also find out that there are 10 compulsory fights. Yeah. When you become a robot jock, which I'm not even sure how you become one. They don't ever explain that. But once you do become one, you have to yeah, fight you're, 10 you're, times. You're under contract to fight 10 times. And then after that, you can quit or whatever, or you can keep fighting, but you have to do 10. And Achilles' next battle that's coming up will be his 10th battle. Yes. So he's like, sweet. Uh, but at this point, he's not really saying whether or not he's going to quit. Which, he's just... Also, also, I think it's Alexander's 10th as well. Oh, yeah, but yeah. he's bloodthirsty, so he's you know gonna he's going to keep on going, <laughs> One week, you're mine. I kill you dead. Um, but so we're, we just jump right into this next battle, basically. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I love, we get the shot of Achilles walking into the hangar to get in his, his battle droid. Oh, very God. Star Wars-y. Yes. Like the music that's playing is very clearly <laughs> aping Star Wars. And it reminds me of, you know, like Luke getting into his uh, X-Wing. Territory of Alaska, which is mineral wealth, oil, lumber, and other. What, what everybody says to a robot jock before they go up there is... Uh, <laughs> Crash and burn. Yeah. <laughs> Crash and burn. Crash and burn. It's so the idea, which is what you're playing on in the intro <laughs> yes. here with the eat shit and die. Um, the idea, I assume, is similar to how you don't tell an actor good luck. Yeah, that, that's a point that they make yes. in this. We should tell him to stop doing that. Bad luck to say good luck. Well, hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, so you say crash and burn, like break a leg or whatever, yeah. but it is very funny. <laughs> it's like crash and burn. It's like, yeah. Hey, Achilles, go die out there. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking eat it. <laughs> I guess I will, thanks. <laughs> yeah, um, but he gets up and he was, and I love this. We get like this big like he's like riding the mm -hmm. elevator up and he gets off and you get the first person perspective view is and it's it very clearly it's, doing like the Apollo like yeah. going in well, the spaceship. What this what this is and it's so mind blowing now that I look back at it. It is 
Mobile Suit G Gundam. Oh yeah. I don't. I'm not sure. If you I haven't seen. I mean, I know so of some of it. Yeah. G Gundam specifically is each uh, nation is led by one mech warrior. Oh. And they fight for war, territorial right, whatever. disputes, whatever it is. And it's exactly this. Yeah. So I mean, it's not an original concept. No, it's not yeah. necessarily. I mean, the giant robot fighting for t- territory. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. In in regard to the fact that this is the 80s. Yeah. This hand of mine glows with an awesome power. Burning grip tells me to defeat you. It was just like, but I just look at that. I was like, I can't tell who stole what. <laughs> yeah, um, I love, I love to. So he gets in this. He like I said, he he gets in, and they have like the guys waiting. Like again, just like the like the Apollo missions mm-hmm. or whatever. He like goes in. They like lock him in the cockpit. Um, and then we get this cool shot of the thing getting raised up to the ground level. And we even get a pretty good, like, composite shot as it's raising past these workers. Yeah. And they're, like, tiny in the foreground. And it's, like, this giant robot rising past them. I was like, this is all pretty it, good. It like, looks it's, good. It looks pretty good, <laughs> like, <laughs> relatively speaking. Um, I was actually, like, very surprised. Um, and then when he gets out there and it's time to fight... When the actual battle starts, it's stop motion, and it's yeah. amazing. It, it's not, I mean, it looks like stop motion. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> but it, it works. It works. Uh, you have these people out there in the stands, these spectators, yes. like bleachers, and people are like going out and making bets and stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. great. Awesome. Achilles, four to one odds, fifty market shares. Also, since it's uh, post nuclear like uh, apocalypse and all that, everybody has an N95 mask on. And oh it's yeah. Like, oh boy, this yeah. feels. Yeah, it feels very. A little awkward. Well, yeah, yeah, because yeah, like the pollution, like the air quality is so bad or whatever. They all have to wear masks when they're outside. Um, yeah, yeah. In, in current day, it's, it's it's very striking. But it's um, again, so it starts. They start fighting, and then it's like it's a uh, like I said, stop motion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Although there's a couple shots very early here where you can see like cables coming out of the top, <laughs> and we'll talk about that even more later. But um, but they start fighting and they start like moving around. And you're like. That looks pretty I, like yeah. I would love if I was a little kid watching this, I'd be eating this oh, shit yeah. up. They I start. They start with ranged weapons, yes. and then they get their ranged weapons taken away. And their ranged weapons, though, just to clarify, so, are are bottle yes. rockets and like it's, Roman candles oh, that they shoot yeah. at each other. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, so then they run. They the, the ranged weapons don't do enough, or you know, they run mm. out of ranged weapons, and they're like, all right, deactivating. And this also has referees. Yes, <laughs> who they fly, around. fly around a little little referee disc, and they're like <laughs> strapped in like it's like a carnival ride. They have like these shoulder <laughs> yes. harness. This is like it looks very funny. I, I do like uh, even in the future they start to be in uh, black and white stripes. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, and they have like black helmets on. They look like yeah, you know what they look like? They look like um, uh, like like roller derby like referees or something. I don't know. They just, yeah, but they uh, so they're like all right, deactivating ranged weapons. It's melee combat time, and they like roll. You know, they walk at each other, cocoon, cocoon, <laughs> um, and they walk in and they start just like beating the shit out of each other with these robots. Um, Oh, uh, he also tries this thing that's like supposed to be a secret that is a green laser. They yeah. call that. They're like, it's the green laser. He won't see it coming. But that then he also has a green laser. Doesn't do much. And it doesn't do anything yeah, at neither all. Neither one of them do anything. No, yeah. And but then this is this is the first crumb for a thing that comes later. Is like, how did he know about the green laser? We must have a spy oh in our midst. God. Dun, 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 which we'll get to. I thought the green laser was a secret weapon. Hard to keep secrets in this business. Too many damn spies. Just. Uh, they get to a point where Achilles is down on the ground and he's pinned and cuts the dude's rope. It, it cuts his leg. Yeah. I guess it's kind of. He uses like a flamethrower or something like a torch and like. But he was the guy was about ready to, to deliver robot punch. And yeah. His hand disengages and fires off like a rocket. Yeah. But it's while he was getting cut. It's while he's, his leg was getting cut off. So it fires off. To the stands. It starts going to the stands, and at the last second... Um, I don't know how fast this robot moves, <laughs> but... <laughs> Achilles comes running over and eats the fist. <laughs> Probably doing significantly more damage to the bleachers than if the fist just hit it by itself. Yes, because he gets knocked and falls on the stands and crushes hundreds of people. <laughs> yes. Hundreds of people die. Now, to be fair, I, either way, that fist would have also killed quite a few people, because mm-hmm. we do see earlier that the stands like reflect the... the the like lasers and stuff they have some sort of protection thing because like yeah. a rocket or something hits it and they're all fine but i guess a large enough object can just crush it still yeah i, I just figured that the the fist would be significantly less mass than true the robot it absolutely would be um but yeah he is you can see it in his face he's like oh no it's gonna hit the stands and it's him trying to like 
save yeah. them, but it just ends up making things <laughs> a lot worse. A bunch yeah. Of people. Um, uh, yeah, uh, but so yeah, he falls and crushes all these people. Just dead bodies everywhere. Just like a woman carrying her dead <laughs> child, <laughs> just like screaming, and he's just like, "Oh my god, what, what have, I, have done? I done?" Yeah, uh, I do have to talk about one shot that I love. That is that legitimately super cool, and I'm sure. Um, it's at the beginning, at, right when they go into the fisticuffs part. Mm -hmm. One thing, also one, somebody says it's clobbering time, which cracked me up. Oh, I don't God, remember who yeah. that is, but somebody's like, it's clobbering time. And I was like, all right. All right. But then... We lost the advantage, boy. It's clobbering time. Fine with me. No, when Alexander, when they're going into the, the fist fighting part, Alexander like hits this battle pose and the camera like dollies in what? on him and he's like, <laughs> it's so cool. I was like, this is so fucking cool. I love this. I love it so much. Uh, the refs stop the fight because, yes. you know, hundreds well, of people are dead. Everybody has died, yes. Uh, they bring them into his, like some sort of meeting. It's, like, of, a, it's like, like, a like a trial, like a tribunal, a tribunal or whatever. Or whatever, yeah. Uh, they said that the fight's a no contest. Yeah, they, they basically, like, nobody won because of what happened. Uh, you have to redo the fight, yeah. Yeah. basically. Also, there's like a news report, and they're like, oh my god, chaos and tragedy at the at the battle arena. All these people died. I'm like, wait, you're telling me this is the first time yeah. this is... There's this, all these stands with giant rubber. That, that's the first time one has fallen on the stand. It seems like that would happen every time. Yeah, but especially with robots blowing up. Yeah, stuff. that's what I, it just seems like this would be a thing that happened all the time, but apparently not. Um, um, yeah, they, they have to reschedule for next week. Yes, and Achilles is like, hey, I did my 10th fight. I'm out. Yeah. I did my contract. 10 fights. That's it. He's like, nah, I'm done. I'm washing my hands of this because he's he's got PTSD now. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I don't wanna, yeah. I don't wanna do this anymore. i all I killed all of those people. Um, and then we're introduced to Athena, mm. uh, who shows up and she is part of the one of the the tubies, they call them, um, which is like the gen genetically engineered uh pilots or whatever. And she's about to be trained to, to become the new pilot, and we're introduced to her, and they're kind of having a thing. Also, um, she thinks that Achilles is super awesome and hears somebody else call him a coward it's and is coward. very mad at him. <laughs> Interesting. He should turn out to be a coward. Coward? He refuses to fight. This was his last one. I mean, I'm a genetically modified human to be the greatest pilot, and this guy is just some schmuck who was too much of a coward to finish his No, she fight. doesn't call him a no, coward. No, oh, the, the other, other guy. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah the other like, guy. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna either get killed or horribly maimed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but then uh, so anyways, they go to a nightclub. Then we go to a night a sweet future nightclub, which I always <laughs> yes. love a good future nightclub uh, where Achilles is drinking his sorrows away at the bar. Uh, Something they missed out on. Uh, it, anytime you do a future nightclub, you have to have uh, lights that uh, shine through a glass to make the liquid look oh, different yes. colors. Yeah. That's required. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, they do miss out on that. And you also need somebody offering death sticks. You want to buy any death sticks? Yeah, <laughs> no, the, neither of those things happen. But um, they he did, Al, or, uh, Achilles is there drinking, like, you know, again, drowning, uh, hide, uh, trying to drown the PTSD out mm -hmm. of his brain. When Alexander walks Which, in, by the way, by the way, it seems so weird that they're like, we're, we're two faux nations yeah. and stuff. They just, like, hang out and drink things. together. I'm, 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 what I'm guessing is where they have the robot jock fights at is in, in this neutral zone, which yeah. I think is in Siberia. Isn't that where they said the... Oh, maybe. I missed that? that if they did say that. Yeah, so they have some sort of neutral zone yeah. where all the fighters hang yeah. out and they're like, hey, we're all in the games together. Right. right. It's that kind of idea, like, you know, like the gladiator idea where, like, they, they fight each other in the ring, but outside of the ring, they're like, you know, mm. not that they're friends necessarily, but they're not like beating each other up outside the ring trying to kill each other. But I love Alexander walks in and goes, heard you're, uh, heard you're finishing your career off. Congratulations on going out with 300 kills or whatever. And I was like, <laughs> fucking burn. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's a pretty good burn. It's pretty oh good. Oh, my God. What an impressive end to your career. Over 300 casualties. Congratulations. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, but one of the other Tubies is there and is very upset and challenges Al Alexander to a fight or whatever. He's like, hey, man, fuck you. And Alexander, apparently very strong, he just, like, <laughs> crushes this guy's head. Well, he doesn't actually kill him, but he, like, grabs him and is, like, squeezing his yes. head or whatever. Like, they're, they're genetically modified to be the most superior humans in strength, agility, decision-making, what have you. Here's a Russian dude who's just gonna grab, you know, just yeah, grab your head and squeeze it real hard <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. Um, but it's that kind of fight, it, 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 nothing happens or whatever. And then we kind of cut to the next day, and uh, Achilles is waking up in bed. <laughs> 
<laughs> and Athena, like a psychopath, yes. is just sitting on the edge of his bed and this, watching This is him. what I was thinking, like, do these genetically modified humans just not sleep? Yeah, right? They're almost like an android. They're just yeah. like, mm, mm, sleep cycle. <laughs> yeah, yes. I don't know. <laughs> She's just sitting there. Well, they're, they're just normal people, which is the, kind of the point of the movie eventually, because mm. that's another like kind of little like subplot is that Achilles doesn't trust the, these genetically these modified. Damn tubies, these tubies. These damn testicles. You're not babies. human, but then at the end, he ends up falling in love with one. Wow, amazing. Mm. Um, but so she's just sitting there watching him sleep, uh, studying him, she says, because she wants to know what makes him different, why he's the best or whatever. <laughs> Um, but he's he's like, I don't know, I'm just uh, fucking lucky. Yeah. <laughs> like that's basically yeah. he's like, I'm just lucky, I don't know. But there's nothing special about your body. <sighs> Thanks. So what makes you different? Luck. Um he, actually he says it's fear. He says the thing that makes him good is his fear. Mm. And she's like, that doesn't make any sense. I I I, I can't feel fear. I've been g- engineered not to be afraid. And he's like, well, that's my secret. I'm scared or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that's my secret cap. I'm always scared. That was a, that was a George <laughs> Foreman quote. Later, I think it was later on when he had his second second round of bouts, but he, he said uh, uh, the number one thing that always made me a better boxer uh, being older is is yeah, you, know, you got to be afraid of your you, there is fear of your opponent. You don't go in there right. th- thinking that you're not afraid because right. this this other person has been trained to literally kick your ass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in boxing, I had a lot of fear. Fear was good, but for, for the first time in the bout with Muhammad Ali, I didn't have any fear. Um, but now him and Athena start bonding a little bit. They kind of... Uh, Starting to, to to get to know each other. Uh, I love we. I don't remember where he's going or what he's doing, but then uh, Achilles goes out. He's got to get in his car and go on a trip. <laughs> bitch and futuristic car, Sweet hover car. <laughs> he gets in the cockpit and hits a button. And it's like, <laughs> and it's like great. What, what, are, what the setting reminds me of a little bit is Logan's Run. Have a little bit, Logan's yeah. Run? I've seen parts of it. I haven't yeah, seen the whole thing. But a, yeah, the atmosphere is very similar. I think it's because we have these like little encapsulated societies that yeah. people live in. And yeah. there's like some sort of hierarchy to a degree. Yeah. Oh, I remember where he's going. He's going to his brother's because yeah. he's retiring mm-hmm. and he's going home basically yeah. to go hang out with his brother and his family um, who we saw a little bit earlier, like wish him good luck for the battle mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, and he, he gets home and actually, honestly, the world building in this movie is it's, it's not good. bad. Yeah. yeah. It's not bad. It's pretty minimal, but for what they're, <laughs> they're able to accomplish quite a bit in a small mm-hmm. amount of work. Uh, um, they're coming in. Uh, he's, He's greeted by uh, by his brother's by wife. By his brother's wife, and, and, and they have, uh, like, eight kids or yeah, whatever. They got, another, they got, like, another on the way, and they're yeah. like, we have this many kids, we get an extra we room. We get an extra room, yeah. It's, um, like, government-mandated housing or whatever. Yeah. Look at you. Oh, we're just doing our part. <laughs> And besides, with six kids, you get three bedrooms. <laughs> um, also, I got to talk about, did you notice when he's walking in, he's like walking through the apartment complex to get there. And by the way, the apartment complex, the exterior is that apartment they use to film like future stuff. All Like I recognized it from so many like movies and TV shows where it's like he's like out on the street and it's like all concrete and angles. You know mm-hmm. what I'm talking? I was like, oh, my God, I've seen this in so many things, but, but I don't know what it is. Uh, send me a- I'll send you the screen. Yeah, because uh, it's yeah. But but no, uh, as he's walking in, there's a poster, mm-hmm. and there's this poster that is, and I don't know what it, it is a pregnant woman yes. who is like it's, mostly it's naked with a baby, and it says prenatal no, with a well that that's a different one. Oh okay, I'm, yeah, there's that one where she's one. like holding a baby, and it says yeah. prenatal or whatever, and I think they had it, they want people to have babies because the population is like really small or whatever. Mm-hmm. But there's another one, there's that one, but or there's a couple of those, but then there's another one where he's walking. And it's like a it's like a sexy poster, but it's a pregnant woman, and she's holding a robot jock helmet, what? but she's like naked, Damn. but pregnant. And, and I guess the and I, it was another thing where I was like, oh maybe okay, I get what they're going for here because. Uh, and it says world building. They yeah. never comment on it or say anything. But in a society where they're trying to encourage people to have children because human human race is dying, I'm, I'm, their sexy yeah. posters are pregnant women. I was like, oh. Okay, I mean it's okay. dumb, but I get yeah, it. Like yeah. it's like I get what you're doing there. At least I at least understand what you're going for. Reminds me of a uh, Stargate a little bit, like the uh, the show Stargate. Stargate I, yeah. I can't remember exactly what, but there was a point where like uh, a large 
population of the, of the human race is become infertile. Oh yeah, and so they they have to work out some sort of system where they can get the fertile part of the population to be like, we need babies. Go re inhabit. <laughs> yeah, re start jumpstart the human race again. Um, but also, I gotta say, for for like a, a dystopian future, his brother's apartment's pretty it's, fucking it's, nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> he's got like this cool like study that he's in. It's like all glass walls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like a big library. I was like, that's pretty pretty nice. Other than they do have their their big celebratory meal that night mm -hmm. when they're like, we actually get meat and they open the lid and it's one hot dog floating Aww. in like a bowl of water. We're having real meat tonight to celebrate. Uh, there was there was also was a point where uh, he he opens he you know he gets let into the apartment yeah and she says uh, oh yeah come on come on don't let the air in oh it's yeah like, it kind of giving that yeah you know, even yeah because because the, the building yeah yeah because the like, air those little so those little yeah. lines work to see you <laughs> don't let the air in. <laughs> I honestly thought most of the dialogue was pretty good. Like again, I think mostly this movie's just pretty good. Like yeah. it's not. It's yeah, that, that, that's kind of also why I, I kind of related it a little bit to Logan's Run because the Logan Run has a lot of great world building. Yeah, regardless of how stupid some of the set yeah. pieces are. Yeah, you have to help us. You don't have the choice. It's not your decision. So tell us. Uh, um, so uh, then we cut back while he's now home hanging out with his brother and stuff. We then cut back to um, Athena and the other Tubi's training. Mm -hmm. And I got to talk about this scene because I don't understand the point of it. Or I understand the point of it in the movie is like for like a kind of an action scene after you're in your mi you know, middle of uh, act two or whatever. Um, but they like climb this big crazy jungle yes, gym. Yes, it's great. What is... It, it has all these. It's 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 a bunch of bars. And they have to climb to get to this yeah. hole in the top of it's it. It's like hanging in midair. Yeah, yeah. And, and then there's like pipes. Uh, there's pipes that like heat up. Get a really lot, hot. Get really hot. There's some that <laughs> squirt water. oil and water or and stuff whatever. Like that. Yeah. There's some that just fall. fall. <laughs> uh, the, the the one super smug guy. Yeah. Uh, is getting up to the top. And he's about ready to climb through. And he puts <laughs> he his steps. He steps and, and it just lets it, the pipe drops out from under him and he falls off. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. We well, see him later with his arm like clearly broken. <laughs> Yeah, but, but so Athena ends up winning this. She gets to the top mm. and, and 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 defeats it or whatever. But the thing to me that I was like, okay, this is the robot jocks like training academy or whatever. What the fuck is the point of this <laughs> in terms of relation to being a robot? Jock? I guess adapt. Adapting, adapting to a changing I environment. Yes, it just seems real pointless to be able to do a jungle mm. gym well when your job is I'm, fighting robots. Well, that's the other thing. I'm also shocked that they don't have like trainer robots for people to yes. like, train on. And yes, stuff. because like, the number one thing that seems to be killing the team is a complete lack of experience. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I don't understand. Well, again, I, I think it's just because they're like, we need something cool, future, like obstacle course. That'll be fun. Like, but why are they doing a weird future obstacle course when their job is to fight robot? <laughs> like, what? I don't. I, I would love a little throwaway joke with uh, is, is uh, Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Is that Parker Brothers? I have no idea. But they do. All right. Milton Bradley. I Milton think. Bradley. All right. Maybe, we're going to. All right. All right. Cadets, you're new. You're fresh. You're green. Now. We're gonna have Day you start one. with the basics, and they just bring out rock and Boom. Sock robots. That would be a great gag. That would be an A plus gag because they were out by then. I think they were out by the <laughs> late eighties. I'm pretty sure. A left to the jaw, and oh my block is knocked off. That would have been a dynamite joke if they were like, <laughs> "We have this ancient training device," and they just <laughs> boom, rock and sock and robot. That would be very fucking funny. Um, but yeah, uh, so now um, Athena is going to step in and fight because Al or because Achilles isn't going to do yes. it. She's stepping in. She's like, since she won the jungle gym race or whatever, she gets to fight Alexander. But but Achilles sees this and he he's kind of he's got a soft spot for her now since mm -hmm. they talked for five minutes one time yes. <laughs> or whatever. Um, and he so he comes rushing back and is like, like, yeah, I'm fighting. I'll do it. But his his rule, which you would think he would have just said this to begin with, but I guess he just didn't want to fight, so he was like, fuck it, I'm out. But he's just like, all I want is there won't be any bleacher bums. Clear the area. I'll do it. You just got to get rid of the stand so there's no spectators. And they're it's like, like, okay. We're going to get rid of them anyways yeah. because you killed 300 people. <laughs> yeah, 300 <laughs> people died last time. And they're like, okay. It's like, oh, well, that seems like a reasonable way to take care of that. Um Oh my god! I mean, granted, they, they, there was a point where they said they all signed waivers, anyways. I was yeah, like, yeah. Still, <laughs> yeah. Um, so they uh, 
then we cut, and now, again, we've had a couple moments of, of, of sort of setting up the fact that there's a spy in the midst. Mm. And now we have to get to this part where um, Tex has been suspecting that it's Dr. Matsumoto, yes. uh, who he thinks is the spy. Like the, the weapon spec. He's, yeah. like, he's like the lead engineer. Yeah, he's like the head engineer. And Tex goes into his office for something late at night one, one evening. And as he gets in there, he's, they're chatting, and then Matsumoto just pulls a gun out from under his desk, and it's like... You're the spy, he, and Tex is like, "What?" Yeah, he's showing him Me? archive footage of Tex, uh, Tex fighting, and like, "Oh yeah, you shot this pinpoint spot, and no, you only would have known that if you knew exactly like what weaknesses." They right. Had. It's like, okay, so I can understand that. Sure, maybe you can have a spy. Maybe you can sacrifice him to a guy who's killed, who's fought like ten of the other dudes and one territory against you. Like, it seems weird. It just seems strange. I won Campuchia from him. Small price to pay. What better spy to have in place than a hero? It seems weird, but yes, he's he's uh, Matsumoto has just figured out that Tex is the spy, and at first Tex is like, "What are you talking about?" And I then was he's like, Meh. really hoping that Tex would have dropped the Texan accent oh. for a Russian accent. It would have <laughs> that would have been amazing. <laughs> That would have been great. Um, he pulls off the, the ten gallon cowboy hat, and there's a new Shanka underneath. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's just been oh under that God. cowboy hat the whole time. It's In this scene, particularly, <laughs> he is sweating bullets. Yes, this 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 actor looks like he's about ready to have a heart attack. Yes, um, and then he. Uh, He's able to just take the gun from Matsumoto. Mm -hmm. He just like wrestles it out of his hand or something, um, and then they kind of start. Our, you know, he's like talking. They're you know, having their standoff, and Matsumoto pulls a little remote out of his pocket and turns the security yeah, camera. Yes, a recorder. Yeah, turns the security camera on, uh, and then Tex just shoots him in the fucking head and kills him. <laughs> uh, and and then get, puts yeah, the gun in his hand and stages it like a like, suicide. Yeah, he, he shot himself. In the eye. Yeah, he says, like, he calls, like, the general or whatever, and it's like, I came down to confront him about being the spy, and he shot him. I told him today I suspected him, and he uh, came back here, and he shot himself. Self. He shot himself? He, he shot himself in the front of the head from yeah, 10 like feet the, away? Yeah, like, he did this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yep, yep, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> that's how everybody uses a gun, yeah. Um... So, uh, but he, he, they're like, oh, okay. And so he's kind of washed that all over. It'll come back, obviously, a little bit later. Um, then uh, Athena is now very upset that Achilles has come back yeah, to fight in her place. She, she thinks, like, you're, uh, you want to, oh, you're just coming back here for more money. You were renegotiating. Yeah. That, that's basically. That's what my, uh, what my training was to you. Yeah. Renegotiating. Yeah. And you're stealing my thunder. You know, mm -hmm. this is my moment. And he's like, well, whatever. And so she shows up on the morning of the battle and just mm -hmm. <laughs> sedates him. She hits him with, like, <laughs> A, a sedation drug in the back of it, and then they start fighting each other. <laughs> this is I'm not. This is a pretty good fight. Thing it's too. a fine. I fight mean, they, thing. they get they and uh, credit to the props department and the, the set dressing and everything. They have stuff that looks good while it breaks. Uh, I will degree. say for some of it, there is a couple moments where they're like kicking out the walls, and it looks yeah. like it's made out of like cloth. Oh, because it clearly is. Yeah, I was like, what are the uh, walls the, supposed the to be? Made tables out? pretty good. Yeah, like the yeah. Table that goes yeah. through. And then it's like a pretty nice good, good uh, sugar glass. Yeah, and and they're doing a pretty good job. And he's you know he's doing a good job of like kind of being out of it, like starting like mm -hmm. drugs are taking effect on him as he's fighting. Um, but he ends up he ends up throwing her under the bed and holding her down. And he's like, God damn it, I just um, and they kiss each other because <laughs> of course. <laughs> and then he gets a nice shot to the nuts. <laughs> yeah. You gotta have your enemies to lovers trope. <laughs> yep. um, and then she knocks him out. Uh, she ends up knocking him out and runs out of the room and like locks the door, mm. like rips the control panel out of the door, um, and then puts his armor on. <laughs> yes. And puts like the blast shield down so nobody can see into the helmet. Uh, and then she goes to get in the bat in the robot. She's like, "Oh, it's me, Achilles." Yep. yep totally. I feel like you're Just like a foot shorter don't, than. Don't uh, don't uh, don't talk. <laughs> yeah. I also feel like she's significantly shorter than him, but man, maybe whatever. Um, but she gets all the way up to all the, the, robot. the cockpit before somebody figures out. Yeah. I, and I got talk about this somebody figures it out somebody's like wait this ain't achilles <laughs> that's not achilles and they're all like oh no and she starts like shoving them all away and gets in it and starts doing it there's one of the workers mm -hmm. 
before he runs away, he shuts the cockpit. Why does he, like, they're trying to stop her from getting in there, and then one of the workers is like, yeah, let's get, oh, oh, I guess I'll just, okay, <laughs> okay. and, like, go get him. Like, what are just you doing? lock it in place. Yeah, it's like, I guess she had, maybe that was, like, her buddy. <laughs> like, she she slipped him, like, a 10 spot before <laughs> to, like, like just pretend like you're trying to stop me and then, like, actually shut me in so I can go do it or whatever. That's mm. uh, so funny. But uh, she's trying to get up to the top, and she just climbs up this, this tower, which... You know, one, oh, once as, it, as the robot, yes. Yeah, cli- yeah, yeah. yeah. And they got these composite shots. Once again, they don't yeah, look terrible. They don't look terrible. There's, it, not, it looks okay. Um, uh, they start shooting at her, and I thought this was very funny. They start like shooting at her, mm-hmm. like the robot, and she starts doing like a maniacal evil laugh. She's like, nah. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? Uh, yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> but, uh, they were trying to keep the weapon system secrets, so Matsumoto yes. uh, had a r- recording to play to go over the weapons so he could make sure that nobody knew about them before the fight started. Yeah. And they start going through this procedure because, well, shit, now we're at a point where we can't stop her. Yeah, she's so already she, out there, yeah. She might as well be the, per- you know, we might as well make sure she wins. Yeah. They start playing the tape, and then... Oh no. Oh no. It's the part where he was recording and we see Tex shooting him. Yeah, I, well, and I love uh, at this point, what's his name? Uh, Achilles has gotten out of his room and it's like mm. run into oh, the yeah. control. Oh, yeah. How he gets out of his room is freaking awesome. Oh, de- he, oh yes. Oh, remote controls his car. The drive through the walls. <laughs> yes. It's incredible. Yeah, remote control drives his car through the fucking wall. Um, and then I love that he, uh, he gets in. The um, he gets into the control room, and like you said, they're like, uh, Tex is like, or uh, he might not even be there at this point. But I love somebody's like, <laughs> what did they say? Hold on. Um, oh, they find Tex out, they see Tex in the room with, with Matsumoto, and somebody's like, You killed him? Question mark? And Tex is like, Sure as hell did, watch. And then, <laughs> and then it cuts to the video of him, you Sure as hell did, watch. You're right, Matsumoto. Shooting him in the head, <laughs> and then Tex runs out of the room and dives like ten and stories. And even says Geronimo. <laughs> yes, and just dives ten stories to his death. It's oh, incredible. It's so I love it so much. Get it. Um. Yeah, so then she gets up outside, um, and and they're fighting out there. Uh, and Alexander's robot comes flying in. It's got it's got like multiple and legs. Now it has like too. four legs. Yeah, yeah, it's got like a it's got these like four legs on it. Um, and they start they fight each other for a while. Um, uh, there's this cool moment where she pulls out like a a pull like it's like a chain it's a chain that's like a saw and she shoots it out like a rope and it wraps mm-hmm. around his robot's arm and then she yanks, yanks it, it off and it, and it rips it off. Yeah, oh, it's so super good. cool uh, and then there's i got this moment cracks me up he then gets his little his little like piston fist thing yes <laughs> and it's like <laughs> and the way it's bouncing <laughs> she's like yeah, <laughs> and the robot is just like doing, doing, doing. It's so funny. It's so fun. Like it's like he's dribbling a basketball. It's, it's great. so fucking funny. <laughs> oh, and also during that moment, uh, uh, the um, what's her name? The the grandma who is the scientist uh, who like created. Oh the, yeah, she's, she's like so upset. Yes, <laughs> she's like <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not not for nothing, but think about all the f- the failed experiments you had beforehand. Just saying. Anyways, <laughs> I mean, just, I, at this point, I would I would think you would be a little bit um, well, should be used jaded. To yeah, you would, you thing. would think, but no, they're all her children. She's very upset about watching mm-hmm. that fist bounce off that robot's <laughs> chest. Bong, to bong. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, they, <laughs> they they call the fight. It's over. She's unconscious. Your opponent is unconscious. The battle is concluded. Tentative judgment for the Confederation. Hold your position. Just, yes, uh, the, but he's gonna kill the, her. The, the refs even fly down there, and they're little because he's got little, his foot up. Yeah, he's about to stop, and then the ref, like you said, the refs fly in. Yeah, and uh, he says, "Don't care." Crunch <laughs> and just destroys the little the little drone hover pad. That yeah. The, Dress and and all the refs just like dive off of it or whatever. Um, but then uh, Achilles has got to come save mm-hmm. the day. He comes cruising out in this little hover car. He's like, and he shows up and he gets into the cockpit. And I'm not, I'm not sure what stops. Something happened to stop 
Alexander from just crushing them. Oh, because oh, he, he sees them and he's like, "You coward, fight me!" Yeah, basically, yeah. He, right? He's like, "Now, now, no rules, no, no yeah. nobody regulated. I'm it here, is me and you, mano a mano. Mm-hmm. Let's do it." I'm gonna get in this thing and I'm gonna kick your ass. So he goes in and he gets uh, Athena out of her arm, out of the like suit or whatever, and they have a sweet makeout sesh as she's dying in the yes. <laughs> fucking thing. <laughs> um, and then yeah, he uh, they, they get he gets all suited up in the suit and gets back into the thing, and then they start fighting and they fly into fucking space. Yeah, for reasons. I don't it's know just, what's going make on. Any, why? No, why? I have no idea. Anyways, but they, fly they start into space. Fly, they, but uh, he gets a lock on. Alexander gets a lock on and shoots him in his Achilles heel. Look at them. Look at them go. Also, some some pretty good science details here. They don't have any sound in space. Nope. Also, good for your budget if you don't want to yep. do any sound <laughs> effects when you're in space. You just have it be silent. Uh, but- He gets shot and he's re-entering Earth's atmosphere. Yeah, they say the cockpit in the in four hundred. Yeah, degrees. it's like four hundred degrees in the cockpit. It's like, whoa! All right, so this is not designed to go to space. No. Got it. The entry shield disintegrated. Cockpit temperature three hundred ten degrees. Uh, they apparently somehow land in the exact same spot they took off from. Exactly the same spot. They're like in the battle arena still, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and they, he like crash lands and skips off the desert. And then he turns into a tank. A tank. Yeah, because he's got these treads on the back of his legs. You're, I'd always looked at that and I was like, why does he have that? Oh, I was like, yeah. oh he's a transformer. Yeah, he's a transformer. I was like, I had a transformer that you could do, you, had, you know, had the legs, you could turn it into like a tank like that. It's pretty sick. Um, and then he starts driving at Alexander, and Alexander has the worst fucking aim. Yeah, he's just like serpentine tank tr- tr- Yeah, and he that. just can't hit him with his gun but or whatever. He gets, he gets right up to him where he can't shoot him. And where does he shoot him, Brian? He shoots him in the dick! He shoots him in the robot dick! Shoots him in the robot dick, and then... <laughs> I was so unprepared for what happened. I was like. unprepared for him to shoot him in the dick, and then I was super unprepared. <laughs> what does his robot dick turn into, Brian? The doors <laughs> open, and a chainsaw <laughs> whoa, flops out. Like it, like it's so, it's so like, good. Off. And then Alexander Alexander proceeds to take his chainsaw robot dick <laughs> and skull fuck the cockpit. It's incredible. I was like, I don't know what's happening, but I love it. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fucking good. I, I had to stop it, get up, and walk out of the room. It was it's so incredible. It's so funny too, because up until this point, apart from it being kind of cheesy, the movie has been like, and it's got some funny moments, but it has been fairly serious. Mm. And then it's just like giant chainsaw robot dick, and I was like. <laughs> Movie, you had oh me a giant God. fighting robots. You didn't need giant chainsaw robot dick, but you brought it, and I'm here for it. <laughs> um, but he gets, so he gets out of uh, his robot because he mm. likes again. He like cuts it up with a chainsaw, and then he starts playing Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> yes, he's climbing parts of his robot. Well, for like two seconds, mm. and then stops. I was like, that actually would have been cool if he like climbed all the way up and was like disabling it as he went. That would have been not. Really nice. It's not what happened. Uh, no, he finds the arm that Athena ripped off. Yes, and he runs over to it and starts hot wiring hot wiring yeah. components, and he's like. Oh right! It has robot punch. Yeah, and he connects. He finally connects with the robot punch part of it. Right as uh, Alexander's about it ready to grab him, right over top and of him, boom! Right to his cockpit, blows the whole thing. Yeah, up. and this is the one you can see when the when the fist fires out of it. You can see the it's little on cables. cables. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. across. It's fantastic. Uh, and then he gets a really good fist pump. He's like, yeah, <laughs> it's really great. I love it. Um, but, uh, and then they have a fist fight. Yes, Alexander survives. <laughs> yeah. He's in the debris, and in the middle of all this debris on uh, some generic Star Trek planet, <laughs> like, yes. like it looks like a set of like every like TNG episode. Um, they have this fist fight, and they're just like beating the shit out of each other. And they end up getting like pipes or whatever, and they're like mm. fighting with pipes and stuff like that. And they have this big, long knockdown. <laughs> drag out fight and I was really hoping at one point Alexander was going to open his fly and a tiny little chainsaw dick was going to come out. <laughs> <laughs> it would have 
women uh, fantastic. But uh, it gets to the point where uh, Achilles gets the upper hand, and he's like, no! No! Like, right, like Picard out of yeah. fucking uh, first contact. Yeah, he throws his weapon away, and he's like, we don't have to fight. We can just live. We can live. I think is what he says. Or yes, something and like he, that. he gives him the crash and burn sign. Well, that, that, yeah, he goes, we can just live, and Alexander's like, but I've been fighting my whole life. It's all I know. <laughs> and then he's like, but we can just live. And he's like, like okay. Works, and then they straight up. And it get freeze it in frames in. on their fists, <laughs> thumbs upping, and the movie fucking it's ends. It's so good. And I was like, wait, what? How is that the ending of the movie? It's the most ridiculous. There's no payoff for like half the shit that happened in the movie. Like the relationship with him and Athena, she last we saw her, she was unconscious. Like well, she could be dead. Yeah. We don't even. Yeah. Know. It's incredible. The ending dead, is dead, paralyzed, just main beyond repair. Oh, and it's just we don't. It's just like and and like what happens now? Like do they just stop robot fight? Like well, what is going? Brian, that's Brian. That's what Robot Wars is for. Oh, that's true. We gotta oh, see. No, what we're gonna have to just do Robot I Wars need the now. Lore. I need the lore continued. <laughs> Holy shit! That fist bump ending. I was not prepared for that. I was like, what the? <laughs> fu this is how you're. All right, fair enough, man. I kind of loved it. Um, uh, but yeah, that's the end. That's it's that's kind of good. Oh, it's definitely good bad. I, okay. It's definitely good bad, but mainly it's just kind of good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so, honestly just pretty good. Good bad, but just good. It's just good. I would say that it's silly enough, mm. like, that it kind of falls into a good bad category, um, and it's cheesy enough. But chainsaw skull fucking is just a. Uh, yeah. And that's. The ending is yes. really where it, it turns into the. It takes a little bit it's of a, a turn into yeah, the. Yeah, it's, it's a slow burn for a payoff. Because <laughs> uh, the rest of it, you're just like, this is, yeah, this is a pretty fun, like, cool little movie. And then mm -hmm. a uh, robot gets face fucked by a chainsaw dick. But, and you're yeah, like, and right. if you ever want to see a master class in world building, this is it. I don't know about a master class. <laughs> okay. I said, fine, not <laughs> you a master class. a pretty competent display Compa of world yes. building. <laughs> Compared to what we've done, it's a master class. <laughs> Yeah, compared to other films that we've done, it's definitely uh, among the best. Absolutely. Absolutely. Could not recommend. It's on Tubi, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. is, is that where Tubi got their name from Tubi? Oh, my Tubi's? God. <laughs> Probably not. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. But um, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. As always, you can do us a giant favor by heading over to patreon.com slash GBRBB. Support us there for a few bucks a month and get access to different stuff, bonus content, all that kind of good things. You can also support us by going to Patreon. No. Uh, t uh, t Public. Right? Yes. Yeah, uh, you get merch, which I am not supporting. And none and, of us uh, have the merch on today. But I, anyways, yeah. if you have merch, uh, you can buy merch. Um, I have a podcast called This Film is Lit, where we talk about movies that are based on books. When this episode's out, our most recent episode will have been another movie about a post-apocalyptic dystopian future with fertility problems, children of men. We just, did, we just did children of men. So right, your hair is like all over the place. It's, it's very hot. I'm sweating a lot. I'm sweating a lot. <laughs> it's very hot. Um, I have the air on, but it's doing nothing. <laughs> it's like, not, it's all going up to, anyways. Um, so yeah, uh, Children Men is the most recent episode of this film is lit. Uh, you can check us out on twitch.tv slash the things on the screen. Occasionally some of us stream, mainly Kyle. Mm -hmm. I don't really do that very much, but I'll do that. Always need to do more. Yeah. And that's it. Until right. next time, keep watching movies. Especially robot jocks. Go watch that, go watch that big robot chainsaw dick. <sighs> Big Watch meaty get in there. robot chainsaw dick. <laughs> <laughs>